Hello everyone, welcome back to another really awesome Lego build. I am super excited for this one. Um, somebody literally, obviously it's somebody that knows me. Um, somebody Santa Claus me. Probably one of the best Lego sets that's ever been made. It's literally from Santa Claus because somebody left it on my porch and they didn't sign the card. So... I, I honestly don't have a for sure idea who gave this to me. Um, I think I know who it is. We're not going to say who it is in case they want to rename, remain anonymous. But thanks Santa Claus. Thanks Mr. C. We're going to start building this one. I think I think what we're going to do is do five separate videos and build each line individually because I think it might be. It might be cooler that way, but let's uh, let's open this one up. <laughs> that is a lot. Oh man! Is it a book for all the different types of lions? I think it is. Ooh. So we got we got the little stickers. It's hard to see because of the light. Uh, yeah, each each lion has its own book. There's yellow, blue. The black lion looks like it's going to take the most. It's got a really thick book. Like Red lion, green lion. And then the entire one. And then I think that's how to the main, main Voltron. Oh. Yeah, this shows you how to... Uh, how to make all the weapons that Voltron has. Like his sword, his shield, and how to attach the other lions to him, I think. So we're going to start with the yellow lion tonight. So, we are done with the yellow lion. Um, this was a really cool build. Uh, it was over like 150 steps. It was like 157 steps just for this one lion. This one lion, like it's almost, it's, it can run as a set on its own, which is pretty cool. Um, it's a really cool, neat looking build. You can start to see how everything's going to assemble together, which is really neat. Uh, I kind of wish the head moved a little bit. That would have been really cool, but, you know, whatever. It does. Uh, my only real complaint with it is I, I can't understand why LEGO continues to use little stickers. Like, they they printed these really cool little details on the sides of the legs. So each one of these on all four legs are a printed piece. Why can't you print that five? There's 
There's literally no reason you couldn't print that. Especially for the amount that this set costs. That's ridiculous. Um, mm -hmm. I hate the stickers myself. What's cool is, so you fold his little legs in. Somewhat like that. And then uh, he'll bend up like this when he actually transforms into Voltron. Which I'm super excited. And his mouth will be closed. And his mouth is stuff open. Uh, the lion's head got, has really cool detail. It's a neat little... I almost wish there were like little ears popping up here, but I don't think they originally, in the original design, it had any ears. I think those little things that are up are the ears. Yeah, but they should be bigger. They should be bigger ears. I don't know. But this, so far, is a fantastic build. I can't wait to build one of the next lions and eventually get to a full Voltron and have this on display. And this... Amelia made. She says it's the person that goes in it. And it does kind of look like that. That's kind of cute. It's made out of the extra pieces. It was made out of the extra pieces that were left over in the bag. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Stay tuned for the rest of the Voltron build. Because we are going to start the next line soon. I feel like we want to do, I kind of want to do the red line next. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe for more Lego videos and all other kind of crazy nerdy stuff. Until next time, guys, please be kind to each other, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Logical high five.